Hello and welcome to episode 41 of Let's Play GTA San Andreas. I am as always Herbis and it's a riot here. As you can see, everything's on fire. That's how we left things. On fire. So let's take our $40. And let's... Let's, let's see what's going on. Nothing interesting except every... Oh god. Alright, let's start a mission, I guess. Yeah, so get the place locked down. No one's gonna ruin the hood. You hear me? No! I see. What up? We almost got the hood under control, man. CJ, this is some serious shit, man. Hey, man, I know, man. I went through a lot of shit for this family since you've been gone, so I know. What? For yourself? Not for the family. Don't get shit confused, nigga. Man, when you gonna give me a break? When you stop acting like you the man. You keep yapping on what you done did, let me tell you what I done did. When Kendall needed shoes, I went out and got the money. When moms needed operation, I robbed people for the bread. Why you off in Liberty City thinking about your own shit? For five years, come on, man. Now you do something you wanna fucking pray? Nigga, please. That ain't fair, man. Carl! Man, I need your help. Man, I'm kinda busy right now with family shit. I helped you guys, hombre. It's time you help me and my homies. My hood screwed up too. We got this shitty neighborhood on lockdown now. All right, what you need? It's time to get my old gang back together. Push out those yay slanging punks, eh? I know, but I got a lot going on right here in my own hood, man. And I made my brother a promise. All your brother wants you to do is pay back your debt, CJ. All right, I hear you. I got your back. Come on, let's roll. Orale, the video's coming back. Okay, so what's the plan? We're gonna meet three of my veteranos over at Unity Station. Three? Is that all? All right, I'm gonna get a couple of family boys to come through too. All right, let's get a couple of family boys. Family boy. Okay. This one. Right, let's go. I just needed a couple. Get off my car, man. Hoses out. Hoses. Shit's real serious, man. Look at the streets, eh? Yeah, we better watch ourselves, man. We don't want to get caught on the ballers trip while this shit's going down. Man, Tim Penny brought the central to his knees. So, last time I recorded it was uh, hey, August I, uh, the 18th. I have a ask you. Yeah, what? Well, it's, uh, it's personal. And now it's November. On, man. Brothers, you and me. You the 6th or 7th. Okay, here goes. I want to ask Kendall the question. What's the problem? Call her, dude. Here, use my phone. No, <laughs> question. What? Oh, shit, you mean pop the question? Well, I'm okay with that. You know, I appreciate you asking my prevention and shit, but... Nah, I know you're cool, Holmes, but it's sweet, man. He's the problem. Can you talk to him? Sure thing, Caesar. I'll talk to him. Thanks, CJ. That means a lot to me, Holmes. Right. Stop interrupt interrupting me, guys. Well, those I guess the story will. I'm gonna cut those cockles. Raspalo hasta el hueso. Hey, carnales, what's cracking, Holmes? Cesar, and you must be CJ. Cesar says you cool, so we cool, Holmes. Okay, check it out. We're gonna have to work our way through this neighborhood to get to my house. If we stick together, those vagos pendejos won't stand a chance. Watch each other's backs, amigos. Hasta la muerte. Hasta, hasta la muerte. muerte. Let's go, CJ. Can we just play basketball with them? I would like that. Oh god. I just wanted to play basketball. Come on. Die. Yes. Come on, man, keep up. Oh shit. Where are you at? Stop hiding. I see you. Hey, dude, keep up. Um, die, please. Yes, there we go. All right, story time. So it's been like what? Almost three months. It's September, October, and hey, over November. Here, maybe two and a half months this since the last episode. That's probably solving over. Um, my life. Oh God, there's a lot of people. So I'm gonna sob over my life a bit more here. Uh, oh fuck off CJ, come on, don't stand there. 
Oh great, my gang is dead. You're lucky, Caesar. I take that paper. And I'm lucky that they're just standing. Okay, let's let's not cheat. Hey guys, hey, hey. React to me, please. I want some attention. I mean, it would make sense because uh, this would make sense if uh, I was playing on a console where draw distance is like two me meters in front of you, but on a PC, the, they're not seeing me. That doesn't make any sense. Guys, stop standing in front. Keep together. Are you fucking kidding me? You're with the sword. Come on, die. Alright, where was I? My life, my life, my life. I don't know. It's a one year anniversary... Almost. Well, more than one year now. Uh, since... My breakup... With my ex-girlfriend. Haven't had a girlfriend since. So, yeah, that's... That's a fun anniversary to celebrate, except it's not. And I don't celebrate that anniversaries easy, like that. Now we go to the viper's nest. This is where it gets tough. Luckily, we have a little surprise up our sleeves. Eh, Sonny? That's a rocket launcher, man. We'll bring the National Guard down on us. Look around you, CJ. The whole city is a war zone. Come on, I want to take my house back. So, yeah, basically... The last month, mentally for me, hasn't been the greatest. Cause I fucking think about all the shit. All the relationships and stuff like that. God damn it, die. Uh, then I'm thinking about my future. And it all just goes to... Uh, it's all very... I don't want to say depressing because depression is a serious thing. It's Shit, it's sad. Caesar, watch it there. More it's They're sad for me. I feel sorry for myself. That's how I live. Oh god, what the fuck is going on? Huh? All right. I'm doing something. I can't really concentrate on both talk talking and uh, and shooting. I mean, murdering people, let's just say it how it is. That's not my lifestyle. Most days at least. Let's fucking finish this! I'm with you, man. Let's take these pumps. Okay. This is Vago's neighborhood now. Uh-huh. Torch those Aztecas! Uh-huh. Oh shit. Fuck you, man. Alright. Kill these guys. What else is new, by the way? Well, I moved. I moved from my sad little apartment to less sad, bit bigger, a uh, bit more expensive, well, quite a lot more expensive apartment. Thanks, CJ. Good luck, my friend. So, at least that's a positive thing that has happened in, to me in the past, like, two, two, three months. God, why is everything on fire? Oh. No, 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 fuck off, man. I didn't even do anything. Come on. Right, anyways. Stories. I'm all, all out of stories. Because as I said, nothing much has happened. Except for me moving and me being sad about things. Yeah, I'm still uh, making my own game. I don't remember if I told you about that. But I am making my own game. It's a very simple game. I'm not going to tell you more about it if I, uh, in case I haven't. And, I kind of don't want to be very public about it, at this point at least. When it's finished, or at least close to being finished, then I can talk about it, then I can show it off. 
And then I can press the tab to answer the phone call. What up, bruh? CJ I've been thinking. The city's big, but it ain't that big. Some fools know where smoke's hiding. But as long as the grocery families don't rule the streets, his money's gonna mean more than our rep. What you got in mind? We gotta hit those bombs and violence with everything. Hit every neighborhood they got. If that's the only way, I'm down for that. I'm gonna see what I can find out in the streets. Big love, bro. Much love, bro. Lovely. Fucking lovely. I don't know if you remember. I don't know if you fucking remember, but I took over all of this shit. Like mid-game, very early, because I knew I would have to take over all this shit. And now it's been taken all over again. Well, so what the fuck was the point? Why did I waste my time doing all that shit? This is... This is fucking frustrating. It's like... It's like in every GTA game. When you spend a lot of time early on collecting all, all the weapons possible, basically so you have a lot of ammo and you don't have to worry about that shit in the future missions. And they just, they just take your weapons away. And then, then they don't give it back. It's every single fucking GTA game that happens. It's so fucking annoying. It's so fucking cheap. What a bunch of dickheads. Anyways, I'm done for this episode. I need to go take some gang territories over. Which is gonna be fun. Nah, man, nah. But thank you for watching this episode. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.